course, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, you're right! You're totally right! Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? I'm not in the mood for unexpected twists. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone tried. Tr everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I, I also feel that way. That's why I just want to rule this as Nagito suicide. But if I do that, nobody here... If I do that, nobody here has to get hurt. But... That's no good. Huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us. By calling this Nagito suicide, we're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up. You just be quiet. I, I get what you're saying, but in the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? Even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But it's not, though. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. I disagree. We probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragment. Nope. <laughs> What? What is this feeling just now? Even though it was brief, it was a strong flash of light returning through the back of my head. Maybe what Akane just said now might be a new clue. From there, I might be able to reach the answer. The way Nagito brought the poison, which means that the thing he used as a container was... Fire grenade. Get those two. Grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. What? He used one of the fire grenade canisters? Yeah. The container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Bastard. He totally knew we were going to throw those fire grenades. Which means, did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but the canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? Hajime, could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Sonia's words contain the clue that the contents of the fire grenade is because the, the thing that was under his bed. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matched this. It is the same aluminum. 
You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves under his bed, too. Did he use those when he put the poison inside the fire grenade? It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. So, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! You're right. If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See? I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. That was just my misunderstanding. You... you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was a suicide. No, it's not. Chiaki? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? That Sonya is the killer. The fire grenades that were brought at the mo and the moment Nagito breathed the poison were the same. Could it be the moment that, or could that moment be when we threw all the grenades? I see. Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. I mean, Sonya even made a com or a comment. We all threw the grenades to put out the fire in the warehouse. Sonya literally made a comment about how one looks different from the other, and then now she's like, oh, no, that's fine. The poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us. What the heck? One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. What the heck? You said so yourself. You said Nagito committed suicide. The, then who killed Nagito? You mean who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade was... Was it himself? I see. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Nagito. I see. Nagito set one of us one of us up. Also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? Did he set the traitor up? With his own death? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? To get our attention. Crap. No. To make it. Yeah, to set us up. To set us up. Da da da. I literally was on the right thing. Don't tell me. He, he set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why'd he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a setup by Nagito. It was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously I'm asking you who threw it. I don't know. The person who threw it probably didn't know either. Huh? Could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. Oh, shit. How does this go down, though? And for that reason, 
He put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagato's true goal. What? What the hell? Nagito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. And then... Well, uh, hold, hold on! If that's true, you can't say the poison was a cause of death! It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Even so, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. That's right! Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison! Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body, it was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us that there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hopes, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces. For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick. Not all mysteries can be solved. <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you, as expected of Nagito. That's totally messed up. It's so fucked up. It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. I... I am so sorry. Please vote me as the killer. That's not the fucking issue here. It's not Miss Sonia's fault. This is all Nagito's doing. But what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. It's impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we could make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know who the killer is. Right? That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras. No, there is. If Monokuma doesn't know, his trial doesn't count. Isn't that right? He d he does know, though. You know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya. And one of those visits seemed to take a while. Uh, please stop! I will never become queen! How can you be so sure? I mean, mm. how can you pass the Cosby J. Power? So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is. Guess, he says. <laughs> how the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No. It's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. Really? Okay. I was not expecting a closing argument this soon. Him putting things together. Him putting it in the fire grenade. Him setting up the murder. Oh, shoot. <clears throat> oh, we already have the victim of the spear like That's what it is. Okay. Not to at the restaurant. We already have as well. Which means these two pieces. Oh, 
gonna turn that photo. What am I doing? Um. We got that photo as well. So we just need to uh, let. Is this where let's go of the cord? Yes. Remove the lid. What? Oh, removing the lid here. Stock four. I think we already have him setting up the plushy things. Okay, the sprinklers go off at some point. We already have that photo. So then, if we already have him setting up the plushies, then we have to have this photo. Stock five, final stock. Which ones do we have left? We have this one here. Which is probably him setting up the oil lighter. And then lastly, this guy. Which is him putting the tape on himself? Here's everything that happened in this case. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. Using the gloves and gas mask that he got from the military base, Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence, the blue aluminum seal on the grenade. With that, Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade, took it with him to the factory. And put it back with the rest of the grenades in the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. In order to set up a fire, Nagito arranged the Monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. First, he hung the spear that he took from Nozumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its cord. Then he tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. In doing so, he made sure that only his right hand was free while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream, He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Finally. He propped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. We opened the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. We then aimed for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. The 
poison sank to the floor, instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat, and spread everywhere. The poison gas quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse, where Nagito was. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. At this time, we still don't know who the killer is, because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity... This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? Uh, um... Chiaki? Just as I thought. It's impossible, isn't it? Are you saying we just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is... probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito... really not care who the killer was? He said this to us earlier. It's going to be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all, there's no way I can lose hope. Absolute hope can break through any despair. It can never lose in a place like this. And that's not only that. I believe in you all. I believe in the time we spent together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenade. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. I want you to try to remember what that is. His luck. I see. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be all right. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. Ah, <sighs> it wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just an escape game that could have ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet into a gun, spin the cylinder, and point it towards you and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, so that's how it's supposed to be played. Uh, it would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that's how I did it. That's... You only had a one in six chance of surviving! Ah, uh, but I'm still alive, am I? After all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. And he did the same thing when the first killing happened. The old building near the hotel. He depended on his luck and was able to get cleaning duty just as he wanted. That's right. I just trusted my luck. I trusted it would be I would be picked for cleaning duty. You, you relied on your luck. Ah, oh, it's not just luck. It's true my talent is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. Huh? Oh, I'm the one left with a red mark? Ha ha ha. For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. At the time, Hajime say I said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually the exact opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for the cleaning duty, just as I wanted. 
but his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought it was strange that it doesn't connect to anything. Huh? He factored in his belief in us, but for some reason he didn't factor in his own luck. No, there's no way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. Wh what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. A target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student. And incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, he believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. Do you mean... He left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? The traitor. No, I don't even have to ask. Yeah. I see. That's it. The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he... He relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Then, what he said in his video message... Uh, it won't work with just any student handbook if you want to disarm that bomb. You'll have to use the traitor student handbook. And to be honest, I found out who the traitor was by secretly monitoring everybody's activity. Uh, but I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So he was... Just bluffing! That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. Then it's just as Nagito said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we believed in what Nagito said, we would have reached this answer much quicker. The reason it took so damn long, was it really because we didn't believe if in him? he just wanted to out the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that! It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for that target, but he didn't even know what he was aiming for. Sounds way too unbelievable to actually have happened, the but... The only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, we may just be relying on our luck when we cast our vote. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. If, by chance... The traitor revealed themselves during that bomb scare. What would have happened? Would it have stopped Nagito from acting so reckless? Huh? But they couldn't help it. Even if they wanted to reveal themselves, they couldn't do it because they weren't created to do that. Chiaki? What's wrong, Chiaki? Get a hold of yourself! That's why... I want you guys to guess. You want us to guess? Yeah, I want you to guess. What? What does that mean? Who do you think it is, Hajime? Who do you think the future foundation sent to infiltrate your group as the traitor? Why? A traitor who's not allowed to think that they're different from everyone else. Why? A traitor who can only interact with everyone as a traitor. Why? Because that's the nature of their existence. They can only exist as a traitor. Seriously, why? Who do you think is the traitor? Hajime, please. What? Can I pick Monami? I'm joking, but like, also. Is this her coming forward? Oh my god. It's... you? 
Chiaki, you're the traitor? Please, hold on! Ah, you totally guessed right. What the hell? Just as expected. Yep, you're correct. What the hell? I'm the traitor. The agent sent by the Future Foundation to hide among you all is me. Holy shit. This, I mean, it's nonsense. Why? Why does this make sense? Hey, Chiaki, are you being serious right now? Ah. Uh, I don't know what hurts more in this instance. It's shattering. Ch Chiaki is the traitor? That is a lie, right? Surely you must be joking. I... I... Don't have words. I'm sorry. It's the truth. Hey! What are you saying sorry for? What does this mean? You... Up till now... You've been tricking us? What? We were not tricked! After all, we have been working together all this time. We have Chiaki. Being a traitor. Being a member of that horrifying future foundation. That is obviously a lie. Let me double check to make sure that I... I definitely missed. We've been helping each other this entire time. Chiaki being it. Yeah, okay. We've been helping each other. That's Please, wait. The future foundation isn't what you think it is. Shut the fuck up. We're talking to Chiaki. No, I have nothing more to say. Why? Because we already know the killer's true identity. So the only thing left to do is vote H hold on we're not satisfied yet if you say you are the traitor please provide an explanation that will help us understand we cannot vote until we are satisfied that is what you said earlier chiaki hey if you're really the traitor why'd you wait till now to reveal yourself it's weird isn't it waiting until right now to out yourself it's definitely strange right or rather why was I able to do that? Maybe... I wanted to protect everyone, no matter the cost. Hey, Hajime. Can you do me a small favor? A favor? Me? I want you to prove to them that I'm the traitor. We can prove it?! What? What are you saying? Why do I have to do that? I want to explain everything to you guys, but... As I expected, that's rather difficult. That's why. The only thing I can do is plead with you. I want you to do it. I believe you can prove it. Whether I can prove it or not, that's not the problem. Don't you understand? You may as well be asking me to kill you. I... There's no way I can do that. I'm very sorry. But this is the only way. So please... Looks like we gotta do what we can. It's not like I believe she's the traitor. There's just no way we can ignore this without confirming it. If she was just disguised or something, this would have been a heck of a lot easier for us to understand, but... She's not disguised at 